building Dragonfly, my 53 foot flat bottom wooden river boat designed especially for inland and sheltered waters. This week, Millie and I have been getting into making stringers, haven't we Millie? So we've been doing lots of cutting, bending, gluing, all that sort of stuff. And more importantly, lots and lots of clamping. It's been quite a successful week. I think everything went fairly much to plan. Despite the fact the weather has once again been absolutely up and down all over the place. That's why I'm doing this introduction from in the work shed, because outside it's blowing a gale and the wind noise is so loud that I can't do my usual introduction of walking around showing a little bit of greenery and nature and that sort of thing. So due to the horrendous weather outside, I'm doing the introduction from in the workspace today. Anyway, stick around. Millie and I will show you what progress we have made this week. Right, here's my next stringer, all clamped together. Just two laminations here, the third lamination I'll do once the sides are on, so it'll be a retrofit. That's been drying overnight. Awesome. I'm going to run that stringer along the inside of the wall of the boat as a retrofit and put the third lamination in at the same time. I'll get these clamps off and then start to laminate the next two stringers. I thought I would get quite a lot of spring back from these laminations but I haven't got much at all. I thought that when I took the clamps off from here, I was gonna get a lot of spring back, but you can see there's hardly any gap there at all on that one. Same there and there. And even when we come around to where we've got more of a curve, still no gap. So I'm really pleased with that. There's a bit of a close-up of how my clamps and laminations look. I'll take the rest of these off. I'm very pleased with that. Great. I thought I'd show you my sacrificial strips of plastic that come in exceptionally handy. Once I'm done, I just roll these up. I keep them on the shelf, and every time I'm doing a gluing job, I just roll them out. And that keeps my paved floor reasonably glue free. just realized that I forgot to level up this central bulkhead before I started gluing the stringers in. Fortunately I'd only glued one joint and it was very easy to break that joint, straighten up the bulkhead ready for the next stringers. So there's my level 
I've checked that with the laser level as well. And that's keeping that bulkhead nice and plumb while I glue the stringers into place. Lucky I discovered that before I did all the gluing. I've just finished putting the third stringer on. I can't do the next one until this is dry because I don't have enough clamps for that. So I'll show you this bit and then I'm gonna have a break. The uprights are doing a really good job keeping everything perfectly straight for me. Once I've got these together, I have to slide them through behind all those frames, get them into place, and they're really slippery, so hopefully I can get them in there without everything falling to bits. Now I've got to try and slide that through behind these frames without all the lamination slipping apart. I had a bit of trouble with these ones. The second one was a lot easier, so hopefully this last one, I've got everything more prepared, should be able to slide it through. Well, it's really a two-person job, but I think, I think with a few clamps I can get it in there. These little clamps are great, but once I've got glue in my hands, they're so slippery. I try to squeeze them and they just slip out of my hands. It's always harder than I think, but I've nearly got it in there. Can't really stop and talk. I'll show you more when it's in place. I'm surprised that's gone in relatively easily compared to the rest of it. So now I just get all the glue off my gloves and go along, clamp it all the way along, get it cleaned up, remove any excess glue and leave it to dry. I 
I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, please click the like button down below and remember to subscribe. I will see you all again next week.